It's your boy Mario Loaded, and we're back with another video. Now, as y'all can see from all my old videos, you know what I'm saying? This is something totally different. We're starting something new. This is starting a sneaker brand in 2024, episode one. Basically, today we're going to be starting with three, with the first three steps I think you should take when, start, when starting a brand. So today, we're going to go over brand name, getting logos made, and vision for the brand. Today is August 20th. Now, some of this I already started on beginning of August. So some of these clips that y'all gonna see might have been for a couple of days, pre like before this, but basically with this first episode, we're just gonna be starting off with the brand. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is come up with a brand name. And for me, uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, starting my own shoes. So I had a couple names I already had like previously, like just thinking of, but the brand name for me, it's fully loaded. That's that's the brand name. You know what I'm saying? Now, by brand name, I mean that's the brand. The shoe name would be something else, like the shoe model that I come up with. You know, like you got Air Jordan, you got the Air Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? But Jordan is the brand. So the brand for me is called Fully Loaded. Now, another thing too, when coming up with a name for me, what I think you should do when you come up with a name, make sure the name has a meaning. So for me, the meaning behind fully loaded is loaded with ambition to fully chase your dreams. You know what I'm saying? I, my ambition to start my own, to have my own shoe one day is I've been loaded with that in my head, like loaded. And like, I feel like whatever you're inspiring to do or be you got it. it has to be loaded into your mind for you to fully chase your dreams you know what i'm saying so fully load that's the brand so basically in this first episode you know i got the brand name for y'all you know come up with your brand name first now the second thing that you're going to want to do after you have your brand name is logos now with different type of logos i kind of already knew the vision of a logo that i wanted to go for so today in this video, we're basically gonna come up with brand name, which are, we already have, and logos. And basically after that, the third step will be, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna get into what do you, what type of brand are you building? So the vision for my brand basically is, you know, a urban streetwear sneaker brand, like, but at the same time, good quality, almost, almost designer-like quality and feel to a shoe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now, I'm not doing no dunks, they, my shit's not feeling like no forces, not feeling like no Travis Scott, no Jordan 1 Lowe's, none of that shit. Like, if you gonna do that shit, that's cool, but not me. I'm starting from scratch. Like, I am design actually designing the shoe from scratch, the shape, all, everything. I'm drawing it now of course i have a sneaker in mind that i'm going to start from and start from you know zero but it's not going to look like no dunk it's not going to like no jordan it's not gonna like no shit that's already out now you know what i'm saying like it's going to be it may be it may be similar but it's not going to be no when you look at that that's a dunk that somebody just threw they fucking logo on i'm not doing no shit like that like i'm actually finna draw it out you know some people that I look up to when it comes to the sneaker stuff is Cool Kai. I throw some of his stuff right here. And Sire Brain, somewhere in America, I throw some of his stuff right here. So these two people are the people that I've been seeing do this for a long time now, which inspired me to do this for myself. And if you do know me, for those of you who do know me, as you can kind of see in the background, it's paint and stuff like that. I customize shoes. But recently, I decided to put that on a pause to start this brand. For the logo, we're basically gonna use Fiverr for the logo. Now, a lot of people told me about Fiverr app. I've heard it before. If you know how to draw or, you know, if you're just creative, then you may be able to do the logo yourself, but it's about getting it to look professional. So I already know what I want for real. So basically, we're gonna hop on a Fiverr app and I'm basically gonna show you how to get a logo made. 
Let's get into it. Okay, so boom. You're going to open the Fiverr app. In the search, you're going to search up street wear logos. So I click street wear logo. And from here, I kind of was just looking at some to choose from. And I opened the first one. And I'm just going over the, like what they have to offer with the different prices and everything. Next thing you want to do is look at their reviews. You want to see how people feel about getting work done from them and how fast it was, the quality of it, and everything. So right now I'm still looking at the different options I can get. So then here I'm at the reviews, I'm reading them. And you just want to read them and make sure like it looks like something that's okay because you can get ripped off anywhere. Anybody could finesse you. That's my comment that I left crazy. But um, we just want to look at the reviews and just, you know, see what they have to offer and see what everyone else thinks. So, boom. Here's me texting him the first time, July 25th. So, I basically texted him. Like I said, I had a logo in mind already. So, I basically texted him, you know, told him what I was thinking. I sent him kind of like a reference picture. Like, that's something that I cooked up by myself garbage but uh he responded really quickly actually and um we end up getting you know right into it so i basically so i believe i chose the 20 dollar package 20 or 25 dollar one that came with um two designs because i wanted two different logos kind of like a main logo and kind of like you, you kind of want to be versatile. Like, you want to have a logo that you're known for, but you can also have different logos. So, I wanted two logos, which is why I chose that. So, that's the two logos he ended up coming up with. But overall, my experience, though, this guy right here, he worked super quick. Like, I believe he had design made the next day or maybe a couple hours later. Um, when he sent it to me, he had 328 at the bottom because from the first image I sent him, I did have a number. It was 326, but I didn't want it on there. So I asked him to uh, take it off. But once he took that part, the two logos that he cooked up was really hard to me. The FL with the with the bullets at the bottom of it and just the word fully logo. That's exactly what I was looking for, which is why I gave him a great review because like, he knocked it out quick and Shit was hard. Like, that's exactly what I asked for. I know some people have some bad reviews on Fiverr, but not me. But it was quick. Um, once you finish, he, they send you, like, the logo PNGs to your email and everything. So you have the full file and everything, and it worked out smooth for so me. So, boom. Now that you have a logo made, the next thing you want to do is start cooking up designs. Now, as far as designs, we're going to get in that in the next video on episode two. But that concludes episode one of starting a sneaker brand in 2024. And it's your boy, Mari Loaded. We out. Yeah, gang, gang. Today I ain't in the mood. I don't want your pussy, I'm cool. Got a hundred mil on my 